Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. This video I'm going to cover how to do FEM coupled with SPH simulation. I'm not going to do the whole simulation. I'm just going to show the meshing and how to set up the contacts between the SPH and the FEM. This technique is very useful, especially if you have like what you're seeing here, a high velocity impact and you have an impact zone which you want to make it in SPH and the borders can be from FEM with a bigger mesh. I'm going to cover two examples. The first one is when you have a square or a rectangle target and the second example is when you have a cylindrical target. With that being said, let's start the first example. So here I have my pre post. So first I'm going to make the mesh shape measure and then let's say from here in the z direction is 10 and i create here i have everything's okay i look from the side view maybe i can increase the i can decrease the number of elements here decrease yeah this this should be fine then accept now again I click on the top view and I go to element tools and then move copy. Then here I make or I put a new part ID, part ID number 2. Let's say I want my impact zone to be this big. Then apply then accept. Now I go to mesh. I go down here SPH generation. I have a solid so I go to solid nodes and then click by part click on this blue guy the density let's say this one is made of aluminium so 2.7 e minus 6 then set the parameters and then create and then accept now you go to here FEM parts in this corner you hide part ID number 2 now you can see your SPH which is very spaced out of course you don't want that you want the SPH to have smaller gaps or smaller spacing we have few ways to do that one way is you go to element edit and then split and merge then you click on solid here because we have solid then click pick and then by part then click on this guy now apply one time apply second time and let's say we apply a third time. All right, now the same step to make the SPH. We go here, SPH generation, solid nodes, okay, click on part ID number two, and then this is the density, and then don't forget to set the parameters. Then create, and then accept. Now if we go again to this corner here, I hide this part number three, the first SPH, and I hide this, solid part ID number 2. Now you can see you have your SPH which has smaller gaps. Alright, one more thing about controlling the size of the SPH which is you can see here this SPH that we made right now depends on the size of this solid part. And this solid part first it has four elements here then we split it become 8 and we split it become 16 and we split and it become 32 so here we have 32 elements so you can see it's a multiple of 4 why 4 because the base element was 4 but what if we want the size of the element to be not a multiple of 4 let's say we want it to be 5 or 10 or let's say 50 for example, I cannot reach 50 using the same technique. So I need to make another solid to do that. So here I hide this one. And again, I go to shape measure. Disappear all these guys. Okay, solid box. And then I rotate this one like this. All right. So I click on two points or two nodes, the minimum and the maximum. So this is the minimum and this is the maximum and then let's say if i create now you can see i have this 
solid okay the number of elements let's say i want it to be 50 50 and then this one will be 5 and then create and then accept all right now we do the same thing we go to here space generation solid nodes click on this part part number five and then set the parameters and then create and then accept now go to the tree here again now if we hide everything we can see we have the new sph particles here okay the next point is how to link between this sph and this solid fem we can use the tied contact for that so model keyword and then all then contact we have tied nodes to surface here okay double click first i want to hide everything and just show the two parts the fem and the sph that i want to link all right so here tied nodes to surface so the slave should be the node set number four and surface is the master which is segment set so here is zero okay i click here i don't have a node set okay fine i define by new entity and then create this is the sph nodes i hide this one first then i can pick by area i can pick like this like this like this and then like this okay we have 1200 nodes we have another way to select them which is by area but you click here on out so you make an area and all the nodes which is outside this area will be selected okay and you can see here is 1200 nodes as well apply okay now next is the segment set click here click on a new entity then you can hide this guy and show this one now this note set also you want to hide it you click here you hide it now this is as simple as one two three and four and then apply and then accept and then done click on the top view show this guy and there you go you have it okay these guys i delete them i don't need them i have part one part id number one and part id number six i can hide both of these guys and then show here the contact click here and you can see the segment and the note set are highlighted together and you can see here node set segment set and the type is tied node to surface okay here part part here you can say this is impact zone and here you can say it is borders this is just make it number two except this is of course uh, not not very necessary but the good practice is always to put the title for all the parts and all the material IDs and the section IDs. Okay, there you go. That's all for the first example. Okay, the next example is if you have a cylindrical part. So I will delete this guy. The contact is also I delete. This also I delete. I delete. Okay, so I go to mesh and I will mesh my cylinder. So here, instead of cylinder solid, I will say cylinder shell. And then create. You can see here, this is the guy. I need to close the top and bottom. And then let's say the length, make it 10. It's more of a disc, but it's okay. And then the element here, it says 40 okay this is fine and then accept you can see here this guy is actually shell why it is a shell because when i want to create the sph here i have this option which is shell volume why i did not make a solid cylinder and then 
use this solid center option because as you can see here the spacing is not the same okay you can see at the edge here the spacing is big and here will be smaller and the recommended for SPH is for you to have a consistent spacing between the SPH particles that's why I go for shell volume and then I can control the particles in each direction so I click on this guy and then here let's say is 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 set the parameters create and now you can see this is your SPH click on the front view you can see this is too much it might make problems for me later so this I put it 1 1 1 and then I set the parameters again I reject and then I create now the spacing is less okay then accept now I want to make the borders of this guy so to make the borders is a bit not straightforward I go to element generation then I go to shell then I go to edge drag then I select this edge this edge as you can see I select this edge this edge is along the X and I need to extrude it in the negative Y the thickness let's say I make it 10 segment I make it 3 okay here is my surface and then I will rotate this guy let's say I want to make the surface bigger maybe 50 or is it too much need to select the edge again propagate select okay make it 10 segments and then accept now I go to solid and then solid face spin click on this part the angle is 360 and the segment is how smooth is your rotation will be the rotation will be around X and I need to put the segment you can see here the more segment the more smooth my borders will be so I can make it 360 if I make it 360 then each one degree I have one segment maybe I make it 36 and then accept okay don't forget I need to duplicate the nodes here show the edge you can see here this is a free edge so I need to duplicate the nodes there so I hide the SPH I go to element tools then duplicate nodes show duplicate nodes merge and then accept now you can see the surface disappear okay now I click here open this one then click on the front view I hide the borders the last thing that I want to show you is how to select the SPH particles in the borders here you need that for the tight nodes to surface so I go to model create entity and then click here node set create now by area of course you cannot because this is not a square what you do is you click here by circle and then here you can input the radius and the center of the circle or you can do it manually let me try to do it manually first so circle I will draw a circle and all the nodes outside the circle will be selected okay almost like this and then apply and then here you go you can see uh, it's not very perfect because I'm just using my eyes to find the center of this circle there is another way which is you put the center here we know the center is zero 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 the radius is 30 so we make it a bit smaller 29 and select outside the circle and then the circle will be in the X direction when I click here you can see this red line already there 
So I want to select everything which is outside this circle. So click on out and then click on select. Now you have it perfectly symmetrical. Okay, let me hide the parts and then just show the set ID. You can see it's very perfect. All right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you learned something new, don't forget to like and share the tutorial and see you next time. Bye bye.